Hey guys, how you guys doing? Uh, my name is Justin. I'm owner and founder of Justin Nutrition. And this is going to be the start of all the videos that I will be doing that's going to be covering topics like nutrition, it's going to be motivation, um, you know, exercises, anything that you guys really want. Uh, as long as you comment, let me know. I'm going to try to cover and do my best to kind of, you know, answer for you. Um, today's topic, what we're going to talk about are how to calculate macronutrients and Really, we're going to cover what they are as well. Uh, this this first video is going to be broken up into two segments. We're going to do the macros and how to calculate them, and then the second video is going to be just some diet tips as well as the discussion over um, dirty versus clean foods. Uh, today, for the first video, how we're going to start is we're going to keep it real basic. So, for a lot of you experienced lifters, or for those who have, you know, calculated their nutrition before. This is really just gonna be a great overview for you. So this is really gonna pertain more towards those new, uh, the new people who are trying to get into this lifestyle or for those who just don't really have an idea on what they're doing or if you just want some reassurance that you're doing things properly. So like I said, we're gonna cover things really basically, really simply. We're not gonna get too crazy into the math of everything or calculating. So I think this is gonna be a great kind of introduction for everything. So with that being said, let's get started, okay? Cool. So I'm a visual learner, so I got a whiteboard for you that we'll, I'll probably be bringing up on the screen back and forth. Uh, like I said, we're going to start with what are the macros, how to calculate them, uh, then we're going to later dive into clean, dirty foods, and basic dieting tips that I have for you guys. Uh, feel free at any time to pause the screen, you know, write any of this information down here. This is just the topics. This is kind of be the more details that we're going to be covering. Um, but yeah, let's start off, what are macros? So macronutrients, meaning macro would be large, uh, meaning we need these nutrients in large quantities. There's also micronutrients, obviously. Uh, those would be things that we don't need in a large quantity, but we still need and are vital for the, the healthy function of our body. Uh, macronutrients are substances and nutrients that basically provide energy and calories to our body. Um, what is a calorie? Uh, a calorie is simple, simply is the energy to raise one gram of water, one degree Celsius at one atmospheric pressure. Um, you know, macronutrients are simply just your carbs, fats, and proteins. We all see these on the nutritional labels of our foods. We all know they are, but how often, if you're not an avid lifter or an avid person in this lifestyle, do you really focus on them? Well, today we're gonna focus on them, and we're gonna kind of cover the importance of each and as well as kind of how to structure them to best fit your goals and reach your physique. Either if you're trying to put muscle on, or if you're just trying to diet down and lose some weight. Um, so first, let's cover the basics in the sense that we have fats, proteins, and carbs. Uh, fats are yield higher energy production per gram. They actually yield nine calories per gram opposed to proteins and carbs, which yield four. Uh, we know this because typically when you eat fats, you're gonna stay full longer. Um, the importance of fats can't be undermined on so many different aspects of the body uh, for joint support, uh, hormonal regulation, endocrine, uh, you know, cellular membranes, it, the list goes on. But we're going to keep it basic, like I said. Proteins, obviously the building blocks of muscle, amino acids. And carbohydrates are our main energy source because it's, we break it down. Uh, we use the glucose and we use, utilize these to provide energy. Um, so let's dive in further. And what we're actually going to jump down, we're going to skip down into this equation right here. Uh, when you calculate your macros, the overall goal is to, one, manipulate the TDEE. Your TDEE is your total daily energy expenditure. So this is going to be how many calories are needed to maintain your state. Um, you know, if that's to just maintain your weight or what, it, what, it, what you have. Um, we have to use this number to basically, if we're trying to diet or if we're trying to gain muscle. Now this number is comprised of the BMR, your physical activity, and your TEF. BMR is basal metabolic rate. This is basically the energy your body uses to just live, live and breathe. Um, that's about it. Your physical activity, needs to say that's, you know, walking, swimming, working out, any kind of activity that is required is gonna burn calories. Um, and finally, the TEF, which you might not know, but that is the thermic effect of food. Meaning, yes, you do burn calories eating food. Uh, you create heat when you eat food. Uh, the processes used to break down the food require energy, which produce heat. So these three factors, the BMR, the physical activity, and TEF, comprise your TDEE. 
I think I said one, two, E. Anyways, <laughs> um, so once we have that value, then we can go from there to reach our goals. So how do we get that value? Like I said, we're keeping things basic today. We're not going to get into the equations because there's great equations out there that are going to be way more specific and get you more pinpointed to where you need to start. But if you don't want to dive into that or if you're just wanting kind of a rough, you know, baseline of where to start or where to kind of work from, I would suggest these two methods. Super easy. Um, if you're trying to maintain your body weight, really easy to do. Um, take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 15. It's going to give you a nice rough estimate of where you should start. For me, I'm a 200 pound man. And so 200 times 15 is 3,000. So that's 3,000 calories I need for my body to maintain with where I'm at. Is that 100% accurate? No. But is it close? It is. It is. And I would recommend, you know, if you're further in, interested in kind of getting uh, more detailed, I recommend, you know, calculators, macro calculators online. You can search Google for them. Um, if it fits your macros.com has great calculators you can use. But like I said, a starting point. Now say, now say you don't want to maintain. Say you're wanting to start prepping for a show or you're just wanting to get a beach body and lose, you know, five, 10 pounds. How would you go about that? Well, easy enough. Uh, you just reduce that. So you take your body weight and go anywhere from 12 to 14, depending on, you know, do you have a higher metabolism, do you have a slower metabolism? Um, these values are going to give you rough estimates. Um, so, you know, 12 times 200, what is that? That's pretty easy. That's 2,400. Uh, 12 times 4, 14 times 200, that's 28. So anywhere from 2,400 to 2,800 calories would be where I would probably start off with to start dieting down. Uh, similarly, so do the exact same thing to gain weight, but use the numbers anywhere from 16 to 18, depending on your metabolism. Again, rough estimates, so don't, don't get mad at me saying that's just too generalized. Well, it's a good, it is general, but it's a good starting point. And so with that, that just kind of covers the basics of, you know, what values you have, what numbers you should start off with. So now we have our value, we have our TDEE of, you know, for me, let's say let's maintain. So I want 3,000 calories, okay? So to maintain, um, kind of a good rule of thumb is you can go two ways. If you're wanting to go more like in percentages, if you kind of want to do a zone diet where you do 25% fat, you know, 35% protein and 40% carbs, well, then all you have to do is take, say, 3,000 calories and say I want 25% fat. So 3,000 calories times... 0.25%, which is a percentage in decimal form, and then divide that by nine. And that will give you your fats. Now for proteins and carbs, you would do something similar in the sense that, say I want 35% protein. So 3,000 calories times 0.35 divided by four. And similarly so with carbs, 3,000 times say 40%, so 0 0.40 uh, divided by four. And these are going to give you your rough estimates of if you're wanting percentages of like a zone diet of how to get that. Um, what I would recommend, what I kind of start myself on typically, another way to go about it is you can take about 0.45 um, for fats times your body weight. So 0.45 times 200 pounds is 90 grams. So I would start around by about 90 grams of fat. Uh, protein, it depends on your um, physical goals. If you're in a calorie deficit, meaning you're eating less calories than you're consuming, so you're in a diet, I would recommend closer to the 1.3 mark um, for muscle preservation since you are burning calories, you want to consume an adequate amount of protein to, to fuel those muscles and to not allow them to be broken down for energy. Um, additionally, if, or comparatively, I guess you'd say, if you're in a calorie surplus and you're eating more calories than you're, than you're burning, you're gaining weight, you could stray closer to you know 0.8 grams of protein because it's a little less taxing on the on your protein intake that you can utilize as fuel to fuel your body. Um, and that way you can actually increase your carb intake, fill the remaining calories with your carbs, and you know overall produce more power in your lifts and just get stronger and actually utilize it a little bit more better. Um, but essentially the fats and the proteins are the two that I would start off with. Get those calculated, and then with whatever remaining values you have, that's where you fill in your carbs. So whatever, you know, you add those, you get that, you subtract it from your TDE, so subtract 
total from 3,000, whatever I have left, I would divide by four, and that's how many carbs I would be eating daily. So like I said, very basic, very um, generalized. Um, there's not too much to it, but I will say that the importance of it is that it gives you a starting point. And from there, if you're educated, and if you're you know, really wanting to do it yourself, you can manipulate that. You can give it you know, a week or two of trial and just work on that, counting it um, and reaching those numbers, watching how your body reacts. Um, you know, measure with the scale, but also measure with you know, uh, a measuring tape on all the areas of your body that you feel need to be measured, your thigh, your calves, your arms, your forearms, your chest, your waist, I mean, all those aspects. So measure those and then see how it responds and then just manipulate. Or what I would really highly recommend is hire a coach, hire a professional like us that who knows what we're doing, that we can take, you know, a step back and we can see, you know, for what's worth and not kind of get overwhelmed with our own mentality of, oh, I think I'm getting fat or oh, I'm losing weight or, you know, blinded by how your, your thought process, but we have a clear mind in the sense that we know what we're doing. It's another person viewing you. And we know how to accurately and efficiently manipulate your macros to best fit your day, to best fit your physique, and best fit your physique goals. Uh, like I said, this is the first video of two. Uh, next video coming up, we will be covering uh, diet, you know, diet tips as well as clean food and dirty food. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.